Okay, this is the end product that we're going to be building in SketchUp. As you can see, it's a sailboat made out of different pieces of wood. So you start by creating what is essentially the same thing as a piece of wood or the layout for one. Now, I started with 20 by 30 inches, then zoomed in on it. Then I decided I wanted it to be a little longer. So you'll see in the box in the lower left-hand corner that after I change the scale of it just a little bit so it puts a number in the box, I go 20 inches comma 40 inches and it automatically gets larger. The next thing I do is use a the Bezier curve, the one that's a plug-in, not the one that comes with SketchUp. It's a better one. It gives you more options. And I move it around a little to get uh, the line that will represent the hull of the, sh of the ship um, the, that looks good. Next, with a little fiddling, I get the right um, line select to delete everything but the hull. Now, I'm going to want to have this as a two-tone hull, so I'm going to use the Bezier curve again to create a second curve inside the first curve. Now, a lot of these have shortcuts, the movements I'm doing, but I'm using the cursor so you can kind of see where the things are that I am clicking on, that I'm activating. Next, I'm going to make the sail. And this is just a matter of taking a rectangle and making it the proportions that I want that look good. Then going to the line tool, drawing a line diagonally. And again, getting rid of the part of it that I don't want. By going up to um, the delete and getting rid of whatever other little lines happen to be left over. Now I look at that and say, mm, maybe I'd like that to be a little larger. So I'm going to scale it by uh, selecting the sail again and uh, using the scale tool to make it a little bit larger. Then finally the last thing, the mast, just make that with a rectangle tool. Could use a, a circular tool, but uh, I'm going to keep it simple. And then um, I can again use the scale tool to change the length or the thickness of it as desired. Now the th next thing I'm going to do is, is uh, add some thickness to these surfaces. Right now they don't have any thickness at all. And this is where the push-pull tool is really cool. Now I start raising it and you'll notice that there's a number that appears in the lower left-hand window. And now I can set that. I'm going to set that at 0.75 inches on each one. That's a pretty typical thickness for intarsia pieces. So that's what I'm using, 3 quarters of an inch. Now I do that for the mast and for the sail and for both pieces um, of the hull. So 
so all the thickness pieces are three quarters of an inch thick. how I can move it around to look at it from different angles, see uh, how it looks, check it out. I can rotate it back and forth. Now I'm going to add some wood coloring. SketchUp comes with a few wood color choices and we'll use those. Notice I can move it around, zoom it in as necessary so that I can click on the different surfaces and add the uh, color. I'm just going to worry about this side of it because in Intarja the back of it you don't see anyhow in this particular case. I'm assuming that that's the case, that it, you would not see the back of it. And I'll use um, different shades of colors to give it a little variety. Clicking on the paint bucket textures and then um, trying out different ones. If I have one that I don't like, I can always go back and change it. That's what's so great about this is that you can look at what different colors would look like. You can also import other wood textures, but um, that won't be covered in this video. Now what I'm doing now is um, I'm actually using the eyedropper. If you don't happen to remember what texture you use, you can use the eyedropper to match the texture that you want to match. And then you can make the additions and they'll be in the same color as, as the eyedropper uh, you've used to select. As you can see, for instance, on the mask, I'm going to want to use that color. So first I use the eyedropper to pick that color and then I use the uh, paint bucket to uh, add the color. So now we have a multi-textured, um, multi-colored sailboat. Now one thing you of course do in Intarja is you often will round surfaces and you can do that here too. So I'm going to select one of the edges, then I go to a tool called Round Corner. And I round it. Now this is a plug-in. It's something you add to SketchUp. It doesn't come with SketchUp, and that's what's cool about SketchUp. You can see as I rotate it around, you can see the rounded edge on it, and you can adjust the settings on it to get different degrees of roundness. I'm only going to round that one edge just for demonstration purposes, but you could certainly do more of that, and, you, and there are a lot of possibilities. Another useful thing in SketchUp is to be able to hide parts of the model, which I'm doing right now. I hide that part so that I can turn it and see more clearly the sail that I'm going to do some work on. I'm going to kind of bevel in the uh, edges to give it a little interesting shape. So I go and use the rotation tool and I move it a little bit and then I go down to the box in the lower left hand corner and put in 1.5 and that gives me a, a precise angle that I want for that. Then I can do the same thing on the other side, again getting the uh, rotation tool. Starting it moving so that it opens up that window at the bottom and then going 1.5. So now what I've done is I've created a bevel to that sail where it's no longer just square. I could also round the front of it if I wanted that kind of thing. Now I can unhide 
the hull and bring that back in so that we can see that again. Now all the parts are there. The rounded hull, the beveled sail, and now it's just a matter of moving the parts together. If I start moving the mass down a little bit, that opens up the window in the lower left-hand corner, and then I can make changes a little bit at a time in that window by typing them in, and I can move the mast as much or as little as I want to get it into position. Another thing I can do that's really cool in SketchUp is you can group different elements, different parts of the uh, model. So I'm, what I'm going to do here is to group the mast and the scale by just going to Make Group, which is the instruction you use. Doing it a second time just to make sure I got both parts of it, I, you know, that I selected both parts. So you go down to Make Group. Now those two parts are together until I would open it up again and select Explode, which would ungroup the parts. Now I can move both the mast and the sail together to different positions. And you can decide you know, where you want it and you can try different positions to see what you like. That's what's so great about a program like this is it allows you to try different things and see how they look before you actually start cutting the wood. And that's a example of a very simple design. You can get very complex with it, but that'll give you an idea of how you can set up an intarsia project ahead of time to see what everything is going to look like.